So what we are going to do is to remake all the contacts on this chip here. We are going now to clean totally the chip from solder. That does the rework that we are going to do here. So here we have the board. Right now, the both the preheating plate and the infrared lamp are off. If you are not going to use them, please turn them off. And we are going to focus right now here in working with the chip. So with the dragging tip, that can be a 2.4D for your iron. You can remove all the soldering from your chip and you have your chip ready to do your revolving. Also, in the board, we are going to remove the traces of solder that we have there. So again, we have our soldering iron and we have our thin line to clean. The main board and any solder. So we are going to. I mean, you are going to do it like we are showing here with your iron and your thin line. You go carefully in the board in all the area where the chip should be. Remember to take care about the other chips. Use your insulation tape and don't touch them so you don't cause trouble in other part of the board that you don't need. We are repairing here a S3 chip from a notebook, a laptop main board. So here we are right now cleaning with the thin line and the soldering iron. So here we are, he's finishing to clean the chip from any traces of solder on the surface. And we have here ready our revolving station with some 0.76 stencil and uh, some masking tape to have the right size, the right mold for the balls to get into the chip. So he's doing, she's going to do here the revolving part of this procedure. It's making sure that the chip and the mold he made with the masking tape is accurate. And now he's taking his 0.76 revolving balls and he's going to pour them in the station on top of the stencil so if he makes the right uh, mold they will go through and get exactly into the chip. He's going to take now his squeezing spatula and make the balls go through. This is a presentation by DGC Media directly from the factory in Shandong, Taiyan, Puhui Technologies. From the beginning to the end, the use of this A70A. You go to www.puhuit.com and we are there, directly from the manufacturers to your hands. This is a presentation by DDC Media. He is finishing his rolling exercise, so he's going to make sure that each single part of the chip gets 
Remember to squeeze the pen and tweezers to make sure every single contact gets revolved. You know you are not going to have the, the work done properly. We are using today again remember an A78 50 millimeters area for the infrared beam 180 times 240 for the ceramic plate and we are working today in a S3 chip for a notebook motherboard Intel S3 and here we are working in the revolving of this We are using 0.76 volts and we are using a universal 0.76 stencil with some masking tape to give the exact size of the chip. So right now he finished the the process of placing the balls on top of the stencil and he has his chip in there in his Revolving Pro 2 station and he's going to now to heat to make the contacts be in the chip with his infrared lamp you can do also that with a um, hot air rework extension okay we already did all the revolving and now we're going to set the chip back into the board and here we go again for the last part of this revolving rec work in this um, laptop board with Intel and S3 chip again or thermocouples and the preheating goes up to 143 as the set temperature right now and we start the last part of this tutorial of the use of the Kuhui T878 by Kuhui Technologies. This is a presentation by DGC Media for KuhuiT.com. And we are finishing here putting some paste on top of the S3 chip. The temperature here, we're working in preheating for 155, 160. And infrared for 222 the use of the TA78